Hey, it's your friend Choice CJ here, and I'm bringing to you my team builder for week four of the UPC. We're going up against the Colorado Reggies, coached by Dr. V, our good friend and rival from the old PMC days. Um, he's got a really scary team, and uh, it's uh, a little unfortunate. Uh, Dr. V is going to be stepping down as coach uh, after this week, but I'm very grateful that we're going to get the chance to play him before he does that, because we have a score to settle with uh, our good friend Dr. V. He swept the season series from us last year um, in PMC Season 2. He beat us 2-0. He had a really awesome team with uh, Weavile and uh, Landorus Incarnate, Terrakion, Mega Blastoise, and uh, he whooped us pretty bad two times. And uh, he's definitely got a scary team here. Um, I'll go over the Mons that you can see in front of you there. He has Tapu Fini, Buzzwool, Decidueye, Donphan, Alola Ninetales, Slowking, Turtonator, Wigglytuff, uh, Megalopony, uh, Togodomaru, and Tangela. And there's a couple Pokemon on my team, or uh, they are on his team, that are really threatening to me. Um, I think the biggest threats are probably like Buzzwool. Uh, Alolan Nine Tails. Uh, those are the big two. Uh, Tapu Fini is also pretty scary. Uh, Lopunny is, is always hard to deal with, but I have a couple of good answers to it. Being uh, Nidoqueen, Tapu Bulu, and Megalodios. So there's a chance that he might not even bring it. Uh, the, the top three that I'm expecting are uh, Thinny, uh, Buzzwool, Decidueye, Alolan Nine Tails, and uh, probably Togo Tomorrow. Togo Tomorrow, I think, kind of has to come. Either that or Turtonator has to come to try and do some damage to, to uh, Celesteela. Because uh, Celesteela otherwise has a pretty fair matchup. It's not the best because it can still get hit with uh, like very hard-hitting neutral uh, attacks such as Super Power from Buzzwool, High Jump Kick from Lopunny, and Blizzard from Ninetales. But with Celesteel, you really have to bring some super effective stab versus it. It's like trying to go up against a Skarmory. If you don't bring like an electric type versus Skarmory, you're going to have a bad time. Um, so those those five are definitely going to come. And then maybe yeah, maybe Turtonator or Lopunny in the back. Uh, you know, or as, as his last one. Uh, I don't... Like, Donphan isn't super great here. Um... Tangela could come, but it's also, like, not super great. I just don't have, like, a ton of ways to hit it really hard. Um, anyway, I, I've brought a couple of options to hit it. But, uh, why don't I just stop telling you and, uh, start showing you. So, our first mon is going to be, uh, a Cell Gore with Poisonium Z and, uh, the ability Hydration. The ability doesn't matter at all here because Sticky Hold and Unburden, uh, cannot be, uh, used in combination with Poisonium Z. So it really doesn't matter. But uh, we're going with Spike, Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast, and Hidden Power Flying. Um, I wanted something that was fast enough to revenge Lopunny. And also take on like Buzzwool, Nine Tails, things like that. And so a Cell Gore with a Poisonium Z and a Modest Nature can do like 80% minimum to a Max HP Tapu Fini. I'm pretty sure it Oko's a non invested Nine Tails. Uh, Focus Blast can Oko Lopunny, Hidden Power Flying can potentially Oko Buzzwool. So I wanted that, but then um, one thing about his team is that it's completely grounded. Uh, he doesn't have a single Levitator or Flying type. Uh, so Spikes are really awesome versus his team. Uh, it's really going to put on a lot of pressure, and it's really going to help me out uh, in the game. Uh, so, yeah, that's the reason Isel is coming. It's for Spike's Pressure and then the ability to Revenge Kill uh, with these combination of moves plus the Poison EMZ. Uh, next up, we have a Defensive Rocky Helmet Nidoqueen, Stealth Rock Sludge Wave, Earth Power Ice Beam. Uh, I regret not being able to run a lot of speed on this thing because I'd love to be able to outspeed Tapu Fini, assuming that it's uh, uninvested. But that's the trouble with trying to outspeed Pokemon that you're predicting to have zero speed IVs. Is like all they have to do is run like 16 or 24 speed IV EVs, and uh, they're outspeeding you, and you just wasted all of those uh all those EVs. In Tapu Fini, it's not like it's uncommon for it to have speed. Like you know, something like a Calm Mindset is probably what I'm most afraid of, but he doesn't have to bring that. 
if he could bring something with a little bit of speed. But yeah, Nidal Queen, it's a really nice check to Lopany and Buzzwole. Um, this uh, investment here allows me to not get killed by the combination of uh, high jump kick and return from a Mega Lopany. We also uh, we can live a superpower plus earthquake from a uh, adamant buzzwole assuming it's not like life orb or twist band or something like that um and we can two it ko both of those pokemon back with sludge wave if needed um stealth rock you know it's kind of the same as with spike stealth rocks are going to be really useful versus uh dr b's team because he doesn't have uh anything well he has like some removal options but you know, everything on his team takes hazards damage, so that's what I really want. Um, I wish I could have fit like Vaporeon onto this team to help give Nidoqueen some more longevity, but I just wasn't able to. Um, because yeah, without anything like Black Sludge, we're gonna be worn down pretty quickly. But I, I like the I like the opportunity to get get some chip damage. Um, he doesn't have great switch ins to this combination of moves on his team. Uh, which I quite like. Uh, next up, we have a, our, our Aloma Marowak, Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone, Boomerang, and Protect. Uh, this is probably the best switch I have for Lola Ninetales. And uh, with this investment and the Culberberry, we can live the combination of Stealth Rock, Blizzard, and Dark Pulse 100% uh, of the time from a Timid Life Orb Ninetales. I'm expecting Timid because I have... Uh, the Manetric and the Zork at 105 that he has to outspeed. Um, but yeah, otherwise we can uh, Oko that thing back with Flare Blitz. Um, and uh, Marowak's just a pretty good threat versus his team. Um, we have put enough speed on here to outspeed Tangela. Um, Marowak switches in, as I mentioned, on Ninetales. It also switches in on Buzzwool. Uh, Buzzwool can't hit it with Earthquakes for sure, but we'll be doing a lot of damage with uh, potential Flare Blitz. And uh, Protect, we have that on here. I guess one is a sort of a cheeky move versus a uh, Mega Lopunny if needed. <laughs> Just because, you know, it's always funny to make that thing go crashing down. Um, but it's also to scout for Earthquake on that Buzzwool or on, you know, scout for other moves from other Pokemon. It also can uh, give us a little bit of extra grassy terrain healing, uh, which is quite nice. That is the one saving grace uh, with this team. Even though Marowak and uh, Nidoqueen don't have leftovers on their own, they can work in tandem with uh, Tapu Bulu and its grassy terrain to uh, get some get some health back. But yeah, main purpose of this is to come in on Nine Tails. And it's really going to be looking to do damn big damage uh, anytime that that happens. Uh, I was really wanting to run Thick Club on this because it is so good offensively, but I just couldn't swing it. I almost put Substitute over Protect, but uh, I would hate to give up so much health on this thing, um, if, you know, because I'd need it defensively. So uh, next up, we do have our Tapu Bulu. Woodhammer, Stone Edge, Sword Stance, and Substitute. Uh, I'm still playing around with this set a little bit. Um, I think Woodhammer is pretty much necessary, and I really like Substitute. Uh, for the same reason that I liked Substitute on Marowak, like, Tapu Bulu comes in and it forces a switch, uh, like, on half of his team. And um, we can take advantage of that with a Substitute. And, uh, you know, when you combine that with the Leftovers and the Grassy Surge, it's a really nice combo. Um, you know, he does have fast Pokemon on his team, like the Ninetales and like the Lopunny, but he does also have Slowking and Tang uh, Tangela and, uh, what's the other thing called? Turtonator and Wigglytuff. Like, a bunch of stuff that doesn't, like, want to take a hit from a Tapu Bulu. And, um, so we can, we can substitute on some of those Pokemon and, uh, try and hurt them. You know, and it's, you know, Substitute's nice, too, because... Like, Dr. V kind of plays weird sometimes. He'll leave Pokemon in uh, when they have no business staying in. And uh, so Substitute, we can use that like, if we're trying to scout what he's going to do. Like, you know, if we're, instead of trying to, like, like for example, if he has uh, Slowking in and we're expecting a switch into Turtonator, uh, we can Substitute on the Slowking and uh, not, like, go for... Uh, 
Stone Edge predicting the the Turtonator and like ways to move there. Like I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's just like a way to figure out like what his intentions are without uh, making an over prediction and without sacrificing, you know, putting in harm's way this Tapu Bulu. Uh, we put enough investment in here to live a high jump kick plus return. Uh, actually, I think we can even live two returns just straight up, um, even after Stealth Rock because we do have leftovers and Grassy Surge. So that's the reason for this spread. Uh, like I'm playing around with Superpower and Mega Horn here as well, and I uh, could do like bulk up instead of Sword Stance. Like sub Sword Stance just seemed really cool, but maybe that's why like bulk up is better in combination with Substitute. But I don't know. We'll see. Bulk up might be pretty cute. Um, I can't run Ward Wood Hammer plus Superpower. Like it's Wood Hammer plus Superpower would be really good versus his team, but it's walled by Decidueye. So I can't bring just those two moves plus bulk up. Um, this combination does hit his whole team, but I have but both of these uh, moves are resisted by Togedomaru. So I don't know, it's a tricky, tricky situation. Uh, we'll see what I have in the battle. Uh, I'll let you guys know. Um, next up. We do have Mega Latias with Roost Sub, Calm Mind, and Psy Shock. Uh, kind of like with uh, Tabu Bulu and with Marowak, there's a lot that Latias can set up a sub on. Uh, it can set up on Togodomaru, Tangela, uh, Slow King, uh, things like that. Uh, we went with a very defensive spread because I want to be able to switch into uh, to Mega Lopunny with this thing because it's also a really good counter for Lopunny. Um, but I wanted to put speed on it, so we put enough speed in here to outspeed a uh, jolly Togedomaru. Like, Togedomaru can't threaten me that much, but what I'm mo most worried about is something like Nuzzle. Like, I don't want him to get the, para the paralysis on me. Even though that wouldn't be the worst, because then we can't be toxic or anything like that. But yeah, once we get up to a couple of boosts, there's nothing on his team that can beat Latias. Uh, period. Uh, because Buzzwool, we're gonna Oko. Tapu Fini, like if we can get boosting before it, we have Psy Shock to hit that, which is really nice. Uh, Lopunny can't revenge us. Um, he doesn't have like a dark type. He doesn't have a dark type at all on his team, which is why I went with Psy Shock. Like even though he has resists a psychic, like Togo Tomorrow, like it doesn't matter. Because uh, if we get to plus six, Psy Shock's doing a hell of a lot. Uh, so that's the Latias set. Uh, you know, again, switch into Lopunny, set up Calm Minds. Um, and then last but not least, I have kind of a cheeky set. I have an Assault Vest, Flame Charge, Celesteela, with a Heavy Slam, Earthquake, and Air Slash. Uh, Air Slash, um, even with the minus special attack nature, is going to Oko, Max HP, Buzzwool, which is really nice. Um, with this investment, uh, we can come in on Stealth Rocks versus Nine Tails take two blizzards and take two turns of hail and still have hp left we'll have i think two hp assuming he gets two max rolls so depending upon the prior damage on the nine tails we can either flame charge twice because flame charge does about 39.7 percent minimum to a zero hp nine tails and obviously we can threaten it with heavy slam which is really nice um, depending upon, like, what he brings, like, we might, like, if he has Tartanator still in the back, I don't think I'm gonna want to set up with Celesteela, even though we do have Earthquake coverage for it. But, uh, you know, we'll sort of make a call on what the right moves are if we want to go for Heavy Slam versus Earthquake versus Flame Charge. Uh, but yeah, like, I wanted this as a secondary switch into Nine Tails, but also, like, he just doesn't deal well with this Pokemon in general. Like, his two Pokemon that have super effective moves for it are both Tier 5 and are pretty bad. Um, so, like, I could have brought a bulky, like, Subseed set to try and abuse that, but, uh, just passive Celesteela is not working out for me. And, uh, it's not that fun to use, <laughs> so, uh, let's try a more fun set. Let's try an offensive set here and, uh, see what we can do. Oh, and I should mention that this speed will allow us to outspeed alone the Nine Tails at plus one speed. Um, otherwise I would have gone with an adamant nature, but it wasn't meant to be. So yeah, that's the team. Um, like, I, I, it depends on what he brings on how good I feel about our matchup. Um, like, he could bring, like, you know, I think he's, like, the types of the certain Pokemon that he's gonna bring are, are pretty much set in stone, but I have no idea what sort of sets he's gonna bring. 
And V brings like some sets that you don't expect sometimes. Like he brought uh, Scarf Buzzwall in week one and was able to fetch a victory uh, late game with a surprise Scarf. And, um, you know, he brought uh, oh, what I think is a really cool set, brought Agility Baton Pass, I think, in week two. Um, so it's just kind of hard to predict what he's going to do sometimes. And his coverage moves don't always make a lot of sense. Um, or, 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 you know, like, he, he, like, does a good job of, of, you know, having good, like, surprise techs. Um, so, anyway, that's gonna do it for me. It's been a long team builder. Uh, battle will be going up tomorrow. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. Um, make sure you check out Dr. V. Uh, this will be his last battle in the UPC, as I mentioned, but he still has a channel. And, uh, I recommend you go sub to him. And, uh, make sure you sub to my channel for more gaming and Pokemon content. So until the next time, I'll see you all later.